last video that I'm going to teach you the four last alphabets. Let's start with the first one. The first alphabet is Noon. I told you that Noon, we write it this way. This is the alphabet Noon. We write it like this when the alphabet before it doesn't match. And now I'm going to teach you how do we write it in the beginning of the word. A small teeth and then we put a point. This is Noon at the beginning of the word. In the middle, we do a small teeth and a point. This is noon and we match it with the other alphabet. At the end, we write it this way. So as you can see, we write, we write it like this. If there is no alphabet matching from the left side, the beginning, middle and at the end of each word. Now let's start with the alphabet ha. But I want to tell you that ha has different shapes that we can write it. For example, ha, it can be written like this at the beginning of the word. In the middle, its shape will change a little bit. We draw a line, then number eight. I'll repeat this again for you so you can understand how to write it. Please follow up with me. A line, then a small line, and we draw an eight, we match it together, and then a line. This is the way that we write ha in the middle of the word. We have three ways to write ha in the middle of the word. Like this, and like this, and you can draw a line, write it as the same, then you can match it with other alphabets. Write the way that you are comfortable with. Please repeat it more than once so your hand can know how to write it. And now, when we want to write this alphabet at the end of the word, there are two ways that we can write it with. The first way, when you want to match it with other alphabets, you write it like this. We write ha like this if we want to match it with other alphabet. If the alphabet before it doesn't match, we just draw a circle when it's alone. I will revise it with you one more time. Ha can be written like this in the beginning of the word. We have three ways to write it in the middle. We have this way, this way, and this way. Please try to write them and the way that you're comfortable with, keep on writing it so your hand can know how to write it. We have two ways to write it at the end of the word. If we have the alphabet that matched from the left hand, we draw a circle. Or without matching, it will be like this. It will be alone. Okay? Now we're going to start with the alphabet wow. This alphabet is so easy to be written. It has only one shape. I told you that wow can be written like this. This is wow. I'm going to teach you now how to write it in the beginning in the middle and at the end of each word. Wow only matches from the right side. So if we want to write it in the beginning, we're gonna write it like this. In the middle, we also write it like this and at the end, the same thing. Because wow only matches from the right hand. And if the alphabet before it doesn't match, we will write it this way. So in the beginning, in the middle, at the end of each word. And when it's alone, we write it like this. And now the last alphabet, which is Ya. Ya can be written in different ways. In the beginning, we draw a small T and two points. You can draw a line or two points. Both of them are correct. In the middle of the word, we draw a small teeth and a line or two points. At the end of the word, we write it like this. Or we, you can write points or draw a line. Both of them are correct. So here when it's alone, 
Ya in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end of each word. Now our video has ended. I told you all the alphabets that you need to know. I taught you how to write it in the beginning, middle, at the end of each word, and if it's alone, how do we write it? In our next playlist, you're gonna learn how to write these alphabets in sentences. Please write with Manal and follow up. The sentences that you take it, please write it more than once so you can understand and pronounce it while writing so you can know how to read, write, and understand. I'm telling you now in English because in the next playlist there will be no English. Manal will speak in informal way in Arabic and please try to understand everything she teaches you please write with her and understand the way she's talking and the words that you are learning in you the actions that she's doing and the words she's saying if you have anything you didn't understand please feel free to ask us thank you for watching and bye